Hello. Um, I thought I would, uh, in fact, Stephen Cousins is away. I thought I would uh, try and stream the Monday Run Club uh, instead of him. I'm not going to be half as good as him. Um, so I apologise for that. Um, let's see if we can turn off one of these webcams. Uh, uh, so who have we got tonight? Um, See if I can go on to broadcast this stream over on my one. Let's get a view of that offline. Okay, so here we go. Karen's on the line. Um, I don't have the workout again this week. I've exited three times and still no workout. Um, okay, so here yeah. we go. Karen's on the line. Um, um, I don't have the workout again this week. Um, I might have the background here. No workout. Um, so let's okay. turn that one off. Um, Going to Facebook, I'm talking to myself. So we're about to set off. I'm going to pretend to run tonight. Actually, I'm not actually going to be running. Um, I'm going to set off tonight. To look at myself. Actually, what's that doing? YouTube. Oh, I'm looking at my screen. Right, it's very confusing. <laughs> 
Okay, here we go. So, let's see if there's anyone joining on. Uh, right, so Stephen Cousins has already given me a, uh, uh, a word that I'm, here we go, we're off. So uh, I'm going to pretend to run uh, using the um, Treadmill Smart Speed app. And uh, what are we going to be doing? 12 point, oh, we're doing a warm up, aren't we? So um, let's have a look. Who have we got? Um, Brett Hansen. M. Georgie, T. Drea from was that Switzerland. So we got all countries represented. Um, I thought we had Karen in Group C, although she seems to have gone off. So, um, so a small select group. Um, we're doing a sort of a mini workout, which is meant to be just a steady run, just simulating something a bit more um, interesting, just steady pace. So we do a little warm up. Uh, just to get the legs going um, for a mile basically so I'll whack my pretend running up to 10.5 um, I'm sort of standing in front of my bike um, just sort of seeing what's going on there I haven't actually done any run I've been injured for a while actually so um, I'll be doing the Swift Academy on the bike trying to maintain my fitness instead um, but uh, I thought uh, we would see what's going on in the running world um, if anyone else is coming along. I've had this Monday uh, Run Club now workout for the last three weeks. Uh, here's one of my instructions. Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Run Club. First gradual wind up of the pace for a mile for warm up. Um, so a fairly gentle start so far for this. I've actually got my heart rate monitor on it, it's like 64. Did a very hard uh, Swift Academy workout. I actually did number one because they do them in as group workouts and they do like for about two days in a row so I missed the first one and then so I started off at like two then I did four six eight nine ten and then I got back to one so I've only got three more to go um, I wonder if anyone's over on the uh, stream on YouTube I'm quite yet worked out how to do it on um, Facebook and YouTube, so um, I think there's a restreaming thing, but I haven't I have signed up for a key, but I think the Facebook one, may, you may have to pay a fee. So I didn't bother with that in the end. Um, now why is Brett Hansen going way faster than us? He seems to be going at 4.25 pace, and yet he's 12 seconds down, so maybe he started late and catching up. Um, so, Let's see if there's anyone actually around on some of these um, on Facebook saying hello. You do feel like you're talking to yourself. I think the problem is it's Bank Holiday Monday uh, for us, so um, a lot of people are probably away, probably not looking to run. So I think a lot of these guys uh, just uh, probably stepped out from the family duties maybe for a few few different times. But we're certainly hoping that the uh, run sessions will start to pick up again because. Uh, you sort of get used to the Swift Academy bike rides where you've got like, um, I think, and a few group rides with like 200 people. And it's you know, one with Eric Min, and it, you feel like really part of something quite big. Um, it's nice to have um, six people running, but uh, not the same, quite the same effect. <coughs> so I'm actually falling behind here. So I'm cheating a bit. I'm using the Sp uh, Treadmill Spark Speed app. Uh, which one of the um, members of the group, John McManus, developed about a year or two back, um, which is really handy for um, if you want to set your treadmill pace exactly. Um, it's only a fiver, I think he had it free for a while on the um, Apple Store. Uh, but it's also very useful if you want to sort of pretend to run, almost like coaching to keep up. So uh, I feel a bit guilty here for. Uh, doing that but it's any way that I can really do a stream sort of showing you uh, people running along otherwise uh, it will kind of look a bit odd so I'm pre pressing buttons so I've got I'm actually running Swift here on PC in my new garden cabin which I'm hoping to get a treadmill soon so the space to me on my left which I'm pointing you'll see on the right is where the treadmill is going to go which is currently uh, empty um, so I've got this treadmill smart speed running on my iPhone, and then I've got the companion app running on my iPad, 
uh, connecting those two up. And then there's a Bluetooth uh, that's kind of transmitting to the PC. So it's a bit of a bit of an effort to get it in, but it does it does actually seem to work. Um, Did you accidentally summon me? Oh, got Siri talking to me. That's very odd, very very confusing. So t uh, 11Ks. No, I didn't. No. Oh, you're still working. Yeah. So the spread on spark speed is still working, and I'm still pretending to run at 11 k's an hour. Um, so that's kind of no any notifications here. Yeah. I've got a like. So what time is it? So for us in the UK, it's uh, 7:35 in the evening. Uh, it's bank holiday Monday, and it's typically a grey. It's been a very grey bank holiday um, weekend. We kind of had a period of really, really warm uh, sunshine um, for the last two months, and you kind of almost forget that this is more traditional British weather. It rained a lot for thought yesterday, so it was a good day to be on uh, on Zwift. Actually, uh, it's a bit sad to be on Zwift in the way in, in August, but um, those uh, bike sessions for an hour or so, it's kind of you get on there, work yourself hard for an hour, and then you can get off again. And whereas Otherwise, you go out in the front doors, you might be literally riding for hours. So I find it quite time time efficient to do that. Um, I'm just trying to think. Oh, let me, let me just speed up a bit. 11.2. So we're coming in about halfway through our warm up, and uh, what we're going to do is progressively three progressive 1k runs going to 12.6, 12.9, 13.2, and then we're going to do a couple of uh, strides at the end just to sort of um, simulate getting a a uh, bit of uh, action in the legs for the rest of the week. The Monday Run Club runs were always meant to be just a sort of a fairly steady run, just to sort of um, have a bit of a social run. Um, nothing too hard. Um, they're not, you wouldn't really call this a proper session to be honest. I mean, this is kind of steady pace, for just equivalent, simulating a few strides that you might do in a run. Um, you certainly shouldn't feel that you're working hard in this um, in this effort. It should be, it should be largely aerobic. Um, but um, if you want some effort, then the Wednesday workout intervals are the ones that uh, really do so. So now I'm meant to be doing 11.4. I'm kind of looking forward to getting my treadmill. I've got a my run on order. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. I'm hoping to get it next week before I go on holiday. But if not, I'll be um, ready for September and uh, get some runs done. I've never had a treadmill at home before, so it'd be quite a bit of a novelty. I've had a turbo trainer for some years now. I've got a Neo, which I'm kind of leaning on. Uh, you can't really see it. I've got, uh, oh, there we go. If, you get, if I get out of the way, you can just see my saddle poking up. So I'm very tall. I'm 195 or six feet, six foot five. So uh, you get a rather, um, you get a rather large sort of seat pin sticking out. So I'm just trying to see if we've got anyone else. Um, who's messaging me here? John or not? So John Hancock is normally one of our regular runners. He, I just messaged him to see whether he was running tonight, and unfortunately he's got a bit of a cold, so um, so he's not running today. Um, and Stephen Cousins, our normal uh, regular streamer and runner extraordinaire, he's actually uh, somewhere in the French. French Alps, I think, or somewhere. I've seen a few pictures on Facebook. I think he's got another ultra coming up. So uh, I re I'm really amazed how many ultras he does. He seems to like do the one every couple of weeks. And uh, I think if I did a hundred k or a hundred mile, I'd probably be probably it for the rest of the year. Um, but uh, amazing resilience. I don't know how he does it, but uh, and yet he comes on uh, to these and does like five k type sessions with us as well. So uh, made, made the sterner stuff for me. We had, we had a couple of uh, 5k park runs, so head to head, or, or, or one all on head to head. So I went down to, to visit him in Worthing, where, near, uh, where he lives, and we did the Worthing park run, which is probably one of the fastest park runs in the course, actually, because it's straight out of the promenade, dead flat, uh, and you just hope it's not too windy. And uh, he beat me on the first one, and I beat him on the second, so we'll have to have a rematch. But uh, I think at the moment we'll win, because I'm not running at all. Um, Alright, just checking Facebook to see if we've got any messages. It's quite difficult, isn't it? So I admire Stephen for actually doing these streams because you do sometimes feel on a quiet day you are end up talking to yourself and um, but I guess people can 
look, I can look back later to see uh, whether you can even hear myself. Um, so here we go, we're coming up to the end, we've done the end of the warm up and we're coming into the first little slightly um, harder K, so 12.6. So if I, if I just tap my uh, spark speed, if I bring that up to you, so I don't know if you can see that on the, where's my camera? Where's the name of the camera? That's my uh, iPhone um, with this app running, and then you press those. Uh, little buttons, the virtual buttons, and you can just kind of speed up. So I've got it set to 12.6 at the moment. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, principally not running at all. So heart rate is an incredibly uh, uh, easy 75 beats, talking away, and I'm running at 12.6k. So I'm getting XP points um, a bit naughtily, but on the other hand, I'm actually stood here talking about Zwift, um, so I'm getting the experience, aren't I, even if I'm not actually doing it. Now where's all the runners gone? Now sometimes you have to, because I'm actually transmitting the exact speed through Zwift, um, then other runners who may be on foot points may be a bit more variable. So I'm actually five seconds down on Georgie, and I'm two seconds up on, um, a Z, so we're kind of in the middle, which is um, I'm doing the right pace, and then we're all strung out a bit. Now, what's happened to uh, Hansen? He seems to have disappeared. We've got six people in the run, and I can only see four. Maybe these other people have got problems. So we've had well, that turned out to be a procession at the moment. Um, that's probably when you got um, three runners in A. I can see, and then we got. Drea as well. So if I go on to if I go on to Zwift and then change to there, give him a ride on, uh, a ride on, a ride on for him. Well, who's that? There's two runners there, and maybe he's not in the group one. So we'll go back to me. Also, have to be careful to keep it. Um, I've actually got. I'm actually looking at Zwift through OBS. I'm running OBS to do this stream. I found. Um, if I don't keep it OBS in the, in the foreground, it seems to, uh, to stop. So I'm just checking my buffer rates here. Drop frames, I point one. So I seem to be getting a good stream coming through at the moment. And we've gone live for 17 minutes. Um, so we're halfway through this 1K. And I I'm seem to be right in the middle. I can see two rows ahead. Maybe one of them is not in the group workout because I've got the little group got the group out little symbol that green little screen in front of me and uh, the chap there in blue who is this oh is that Lionel Sanders Lummy, that's the uh, the Ironman triathlete one of the best triathletes in the world he's just steamed past us like uh, we, we all stood still <laughs> little does he know <laughs> I'm not even running so I could actually pretend should I give him the fright of his life by uh, that's uh, give him the fright of his life by speeding up so uh, yeah, it'll probably say, "What the fuck's this? Uh, who's this idiot, Tim Grove?" So, well, let's whack ourselves up to see what speed he's actually doing. So I'm now doing seventeen k's, uh, seventy kph, and I'm just about catching him up. No, I think I'm about to go past him. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is really naughty, but um, let's see <laughs> if he thinks this, this is a bit. I don't think he ever actually runs with anybody. He's probably never been overtaken before on uh, on uh, Zwift. And he, <laughs> I wonder if he'll I wonder if he'll decide to uh, to catch up. So I'm running at 17 kph, which is not it's not excessively fast. That's 3:30 per kilometer or 35 minute 10 k pace. And I've now dropped the rest of my group, so I better drop back. Uh, let's drop back. See if we can actually run with Lionel for a bit. Um, even probably thinks is a complete idiot here. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're now meant to be on warm down. So it's <laughs> oh dear, uh, yeah. Right, where's Lionel? Is he behind me? Oh, he's at seventeen meters. Seventeen meters behind. Is he catching up? He probably thinks I'm absolutely knackered, which I probably am. I'm virtually knackered by uh, excessive button pressing on my uh, TS app. Uh, so I'm letting uh, I'm letting Lionel Sanders catch up the poor the poor the poor chap. You know, he's probably had the shock of his life. Some 
some random runner just sprinted past him and uh, he's uh, where is he now he might have given up in disgust back to the drawing board <laughs> oh we know 20 meters so he's, he's having to work hard here to catch up and I think he dropped my groove I think that's a bit naughty of me um, right where is he I'm right I'm, what am I, I'm meant to be running at 12 k's let's go back to 12 k's so I'm dropping my pace um, there we go down to 12 k and uh, where is he he's at nine meters he's 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 surely he's surely gonna catch me up in a minute I'm on my I sort of we're doing a 600 meters here slightly easy and of course I'm now way ahead of the group here he comes Lionel Saunders to what pace is he doing He's not doing that fast, is he actually? Because he's only just steamed past me. But um, I think we've had a bit of fun uh, to show him that uh, you know he's not the best runner in the world. There are some people that can just you know, sprint him. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see if we can drop back and find our groups. I'll drop right back to 10 kph, um, and let's see if these guys can catch us up a bit. So I'm back down to six minutes per k uh, for the rest of this warm slightly easier period and um, let's see if Georgie and AZ can keep up and catch up rather. Uh, <laughs> so we now have three, three, three K in 15 minutes um, into this run and uh, are they catch up? Yeah George is now 20 seconds behind so he's running a minute per K faster than me so hopefully he should uh, latch back on. So I'm just wondering whether what people think about uh, Swift running at the moment, and uh, hopefully um, there'll be uh, you'll be uh, looking to get back on the platform when uh, the weather is not so great outside. We're obviously now it's coming towards the end of summer in the northern hemisphere, sadly, um, into September soon back to a normal routine, I guess for most people. Most people are going to be coming back from holiday, um, looking probably to get back into training. So it'd be kind of good, I think, if we had something like Swift Academy for running, wouldn't it? And it really does motivate me to get out there and uh, and do stuff. Um, but uh, if we can start getting these runs up to about 20, 30 people again, I can actually start running on my new treadmill when it comes. Um, I'm sure it won't be so easy to commentate when uh, I'm actually running rather than that 63 heart rate and yapping away. So we go, we're into the next section. Uh, I'm going to be doing 12.9k. Um, Let's see if um, George, you can just catch up. Um, and then I'll increase the pace. Let's see. Yeah, he's, he's catching me up now. So he's only eight seconds behind. So let us um, let me just slightly rise mine to about 11. Um, and again, give him a chance to latch back on. Now here's another runner. Who's this chap here? He, can, he can't be in the group because he's got no workout symbol. So we always had this bug that's been reported where people are joining a group workout, which this is, and don't have the group out workout functionality. Um, so I wonder if that's one of the guys that's in the group run but it hasn't got the workout symbol because he's not showing on my screen here. Um, Georgie now should be almost with us because he's only two seconds behind me. So if I if I now go up to what speed we're supposed to be doing, and then, uh, well, nearly. Um, so he's now, he's running fractionally faster than me. So he's, he's literally right behind now, one second. So I'm doing 12.8 and we're supposed to be 12.9. So, and yeah, you can all see now he's down at six meters. So if I go up to 12.9, which is the right pace, and hopefully it will ease back to me. And then AZ is at, uh, he's doing about the right pace as well, 14 seconds. So I had a bit of a uh, sprint because I wanted to show uh, Lionel Sanders, of all people, uh, a clean pair of heels and uh, managed to uh, run straight past him. Then I let him catch up and then uh, I'll ease back now and uh, come back into the group run. So anyone on Zwift Runners, let's see, is any activity uh, in the Facebook group, I think everyone's kind of out and about. Uh, Dave Campbell's making a few comments. He's Dave Campbell's uh, joined the group recently. He's, uh, he seems to be trying out every combination of um, ways to connect into with running as you can. So he's now got um, one of these Wahoo Gym Connect um, gadgets where you can attach them to the C Safe port in a treadmill. You have to have quite a 
a good treadmill for that because sea safe ports don't tend to be in uh, too many treadmills but he managed to pick up himself some uh, refurbished um, X um, some um, gym quality life fitness ones which do have a sea safe port so he's got a couple of them for him and his wife who run along together and uh, he's getting into Zwift and he was wanting to work out the best way of actually um, getting the speed source so he's tried a few um, foot pods um, he's not sure whether to go with uh, iOS or PC so <laughs> he's got like a good test bed because I think he's, he's, he's kind of had every possible combination some of which he's bought outright some of which he's um, bought on sort of approval like he had a stride for a while I think and then um, they sent that back before he had to go back um, so he now seems pleased with the gem uh, I was interested in that because Wahoo developed that and they've now sold that on to a company called MPE, MPE North Pole Engineering um, they were sort of best known probably for doing the cable device which is a way of making your amp plus devices like a Garmin heart rate strap into a, a Bluetooth one they have this little gadget that can kind of convert the signal I've got one when I go to the gym so often I wear my Garmin heart rate strap and use the cable so I can then use it it's connected into um, uh, Swift on the iPad so it's, well, that works very well so I'm interested to see whether NPE do anything with it now Daisy the, the cat has appeared now you might some of you may know I used to run so there they go there's Daisy she's now appeared I picked her up she's coming to run and uh, I've got an account called Daisy occasionally when I was doing football testing I would, I would run with Daisy now um, this is actually Daisy <laughs> as you can see she's not particularly impressed to be picked up uh, she's probably looking for tidbits uh, but uh, she'll have to make do without any so I put her down <laughs> hello to Daisy All right, we're coming to the end of this block um, how are we doing George is right on my tail which is good um, have I got any more uh, I've got the likes from this is like the dynamic, dynamic duo we had uh, John Hancock Stephen Cousins and Krista Holt they're three of the uh, stalwarts of Swift running really John uh, Krista Holt used to join us a, a lot in all our runs in the winter um, I think hopefully we'll get him back on the treadmill soon when his weather turns not so good um, right so we're doing meant to be doing 12k's now so uh, well, I'll just go to this uh, app and I'll just hit the minus button and we'll go back down to 12 oh that's up to there we go oh, no 12 so uh, we're in, uh, we've done t uh, K at 12.9 and we're doing a little easing off back down to 12k for 600 meters this is just simulating a bit of variety really in the session um, we're doing treadmill sometimes you get a bit bored running at the same pace don't you so this is not meant to be a workout it's just meant to be an easy run with a bit of variety really so um, I made these blocks into a mile of which 1k is a bit quicker and 600 meters is a bit easier and it's the actual effort part rises slightly through the session and then we come into a couple of strides just to wind it down for a little little cool down so a nice little run but nothing too stressful um, there's also a, a C and D group which goes at a slightly slower pace um, uh, we don't, I'm not sure we've got anyone in that tonight. Sometimes Karen Ardilio is it uh, runs, but um, not sure she's running tonight. Can't see her. Um, no, Daisy's just sitting there. I think she's looking for biscuits. My wife gave me some biscuits to give to her. So uh, I forgot to bring them down. So uh, I'll have to go and get those uh, in a minute. I've got my Swift bottle here. Um, got a bit of uh, Lucas Oaks bought in it, so I'm just having a quick sip. So, quick sip, as it will. I'm running uh, virtually for anyone who's just joining using the TSS app. Um, and then, where's Georgie? Let's see if for a bit of interest if we can get a different view going. Um, cool. Erg off. How can you have erg up mode in the running? That's interesting. I don't know how that works in a running one. Uh, golf. Uh, let's change the view here. Can we see what's the behind view? Oh, there we go. We've got two guys in the workout behind us. That's good. Um, 
Right, so I'll switch to the rear view so you can see Georgie and uh, got some other runner there as well, haven't we? I don't know who that is. I think that's Georgie in the white top and the reddish orangey shorts at two seconds. And then we've got another chap. Maybe that's the guy at nine seconds who's slightly in the distance. And those workout screens have got any spotting the people in the group run behind. So we're coming to the end of this little ease off period and we're now going to be going up to 13.2 kph. Um, so I need to do a bit of a strenuous button pressing to uh, simulate running at that. And um, here we go, I'm pressing the buttons up to 13.2. Now this is one that, uh, I was talking about Dave Campbell earlier, this is one I don't think Dave's actually tried yet, so I think you need to try the, uh, the uh, Treadmill Smart Speed app, because it's the one uh, speed source he probably hasn't tried. Uh, it's a very stable pace, and you, you can run without <laughs> even running. <laughs> so, so that's, uh, yeah, well, that's a quick cyclist going by me. I think that must be the little bot above my head. So I'm now looking. Um, so I'm looking. I'm looking backwards. Um, Georgie's now just one second behind me, so he's all nicely running along beside me, which is good. And we've got a. Well, what flag is that? Is that France? Is it? Um, I think Georgie must be Germany. That looks like I'd say. You know, I mean, I've got three runners in range, so. We had six, we've got six in the group, we've only seen three, so I don't know what's happened to the other guy. But we're meant to be running at 13.2 uh, for this K. This is the last of the, um, the last of the 1K blocks, and then we'll be into our strides. And then we've got, turn on, we've got to go, 3.6K to go, so it's just over two miles, isn't it? Three, two miles will be 3.2K, so about just over just over two miles to go if, you, if you're into miles i'm running at 13.2 k which works out at 4.32 per k so that's pretty much bang on 45 minute 45 minute pace per 10 k uh it should be a fair effort for me i think if i was actually fit enough to run um you can see my heart rate i've got my heart rate strap on but obviously i'm not running so I'm looking at, uh, you think I'm uh, some sort of uh, super duper running, being able to run at this pace at 61 heart rate and with a cadence of 160 just stood here. But the, the TSS app gives out a, a, a constant uh, cadence. I think the, uh, the signal apparently has to give out a cadence or something like that. So I think the, the developer John, John put out a 160 cadence, um, which I guess, I think you know, the usual aim is to try and do 180. We're about to catch a runner here. Who's this guy in blue? I don't know who he is. He's not, he hasn't got a workout screen, so maybe he's just running along normally. Um, that's odd. We must be at the top, we're at the top of Innsbruck here, the little climb, because we're actually running, I've got the view backwards, so you can kind of see that that um, slope. Um, it's, quite, it's around about 8% at the very um, peak of it. So you certainly feel that on the bike. I did that on the bike earlier. I came out of erg mode at the end of the workout, and uh, you certainly do notice even that fifty percent um, trainer difficulty that you really have to sort of gear down and spin your way up that one. Um, otherwise, that is quite a climb. Well, we seem to have lost the chap. I don't think the chap in blue is in our group workout, but we've got AZ is actually keep catching us up, which is good. So he's only now five seconds behind me. Although Georgie's pushed on a bit, so. Um, that's for the hell of it. Let's change the view. Let's do. It. Can we do a side view? Uh, what's number seven? Well, that's the view behind me without actually seeing me, isn't it? Which is a bit of a confusing view, I think. Um, eight. That's what the aerial view. One's in the default view. Uh, two's the sort of view of being zoomed in. Three's the view without literally seeing me. Four's the view, side on of me. Five's the view um, from behind me, looking forward. It's not bad on this page. Six, the view is behind me. Um, so, what should we go with? Eight, five. I 
plus wet to one. Okay, so we're at the end of this block and um, we're now into our 600 meters ease off period. So uh, I'll keep the pace on, see if I can catch Georgie up. Um, so I'll put that little message. In these files, you can specify a little message to appear at certain times. You can either specify it by time or distance. Um, let's go back to my ABS, make sure I'm still actually there. There we go. So 12.2 um, I'm meant to be doing. Um, so Georgie's looks like he's doing exactly what's required. It's always, it's always nice when uh, you design the uh, group workouts for the plan and people actually stick to it because we've had a people that sometimes just go on and don't seem to realize what they're doing. I think the group workout um, functionality, now you can actually see what's on the screen. You don't really need to have the uh, the human leaders texting out stuff like we used to. Uh, it makes it a bit impersonal though, I suppose. Um, but it does mean that if no, if you, even if you're running on your own, you can still actually enjoy the workout without having to um, worry that uh, you, you're not doing the right thing. So we're doing 600 meters, which we're halfway, just easing off back down to 12 k's per H, which is exactly five minutes per K. So 50 minutes per 10 K, 25 minutes per 5 K. And then we've got two strides at 15 kph, which will be exactly at uh, 40 minute or uh, 10 K pace or 20 minute for 5k pace so it's a good little uh, pace but nothing too stressful just to stretch the legs out um, for this period I could do with some lights in the cabin now actually um, let's put my blinds down well, Daisy's still here I think she's waiting for a biscuit well now because I've, I've uh, turned the lights on I'm actually wearing a black top I've got my Zwift uh, top underneath it. Though you might have seen Stephen Cousins wearing some of them sometime. We both got sent some stuff um, to uh, help us kind of mark it. I've had a ride on from Kip Krista, uh, which I'm not even. It's odd to get a ride on when you're running. It's even odder to get a ride on when you when you're tending to run on in a virtual world. So uh, you, all sorts of connotations around that. But uh, that time I registered to run, even though I'm not actually running, <laughs> just yapping away, talking about it. Um, so I'm hoping this is getting recorded okay. I don't think it's actually, um, maybe some people can look at it later. Uh, no, it seems to be common. I need to actually probably stream up to Facebook, I think, actually. Um, I'll have to work out how to do that next time. Um, it does seem very quiet at the moment. So here we go, we're into the strides. So uh, quickly, uh, quickly change I've got a 15k button there we go straight to 15k um, strive for 200 meters is Georgie doing it yes he is that's good um, it's also nice when the yeah and AZ's doing it as well so we've all, we've all now caught up with each other which is good so um, we're all running together we've only got another just over 2k to go you've got this stride and then we go back to 600 meters at uh, 12k uh, when we come to the little window there. I've seen enough of those windows in the Swift Academy bike workouts. You kind of was wishing for them to appear in a really hard block. Uh, it doesn't seem quite so bad when you're just stand, standing here yapping. But uh, George is about to go through the uh, the window now, followed by me. So let's bump it back down to, back down to 12. And uh, Oh, my heart rate's now down to 59, so uh, not too bad. Oh, we've just been overtaken by AZ. He's carrying on, looks like, at uh, a pace that uh, we're meant to be doing 12 kph now. Um, it'll be interesting to see, I'm actually, if I click onto these guys, see if I've got heart rate going, what are they watching AZ? He got a heart rate showing. Can you see heart rate anymore? Tim? Mm. GPPI, you can't see it now. Watching Georgie. I don't think we can see their heart rates now, can we? AZ. Can we see his heart rate anymore? I don't think we can. No. That's my stuff there. Anyway, we're all together, which is nice. Um, 
build up to my OBS view. Using OBS to do the streaming here. It's, it's quite not, not bad free streaming uh, stuff. Um, got uh, an old PC that I'm using in my garden cabin, um, like an old all-in-one all Sony that I use. It's a very slow machine, but once the Rift is up and running, uh, it's because it's quite a, a good um, actual all-in-one screen. I think the graphics card's not too bad, so even though the CPU is a bit rubbish, it seems to be able to uh, cope with uh, running Zwift and OBS just about. Although sometimes I have to reboot the machine for it to come back up again. Um, so here we go, we're almost at the end of this 600 meter uh, little ease off period, then we go into our last stride and um, that will be the uh, the crux of the work of this little uh, run done then so we've now done 7k of running and we've just got just over a mile to go 1.7k so uh, i'm running the tss app to uh, simulate running because i've done a swift workout uh swift academy workout earlier i've got a bit of an injury for running at the moment so i'm having a few weeks off to see i'm get myself ready for the winter again um especially while it's quiet on swift I do the swift academy to keep my um uh, interest up in the um, in the fitness. I've now dropped back a bit to four or five seconds. So let's see if I can. If I suddenly jump up to fifteen, I might be able to catch up a bit on these guys. So right, here we go. We can see the arch, and if we fit the arch, we're going to be doing a stride at fifteen kph. Nothing too hard, only for two hundred meters. So uh, that probably be about I don't know forty five seconds, something like that. Uh, how many seconds is it? I'm guessing that's what it's supposed to be. So I'll jump to 15 on the TSS app. And um, how long does it take us to run 200 meters at that? I've sorted at 15. Um, am I catching these guys? Are they, 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 they're still, no, they're still, still ahead. Six and seven seconds ahead. So uh, they, uh, they're pushing on a bit. Maybe they didn't. Uh, come down off the stride quite as quickly because if you're on a treadmill sometimes it can take a while to decelerate can't it so uh, you may be a while while you're doing that all right so we've got another 50 meters of this stride and then we do another 600 meters at 12 kph and then we go into the formal warm down so this is would have been the last hard bit of the um, of the run If I keep going a bit longer, I might just catch these guy up. I wonder if they're slowing. I'll pretend to be, I'll pretend to run for a bit longer, see if I can catch them up. Um, so I'm running. I'm still running at 15 kph, even though I'm meant to be running at 12. Let's see if we can catch them up, so we can actually run together. Um, here we go. I'm starting to catch them up now. I'm only three seconds behind Georgie. Two seconds behind. One second behind. If I can get in the middle of them, I've got my 12.8. If, if I can, quite clever this little app because you can you can pretend to run. It's meant to be if you're um, on a treadmill with a dodgy signal, you can just lock in to whatever the treadmill's saying. It's quite good for steady pace runs. I've used it on a few tempo runs in Zwift actually, when I uh, just wanted to lock into a pace in Zwift. Right, here we go. I'm just splitting the pack now, so. I'll ease back to what I'm meant to be doing, and I'm right in the middle of the guys. So nice to have three of us all running together. Or well, something else has appeared. Somebody else is in Group C. Group C are doing the same session. Uh, they're just running slightly slower. Um, so they'll. Did I take? I might. Have, did I take? I might have taken one of one thousand meters out. Group C. I think. I think I might have done actually. Remembering. I think the idea is then that both groups run for about the same amount of time so this is like about a 45 minute run the idea being that um, you want to sort of try to make design this so you can get like a run and like getting on the treadmill and maybe a quick shower all done in an hour if you see like an hour before work or an hour at lunch time or an hour in the evening um, so the bulk of the hour is running and just a bit of time to get yourself on and off um, that's the idea of these of these Monday run clubs so what we're doing now is the last bit of this 12 kph block and then we've been to our formal cool down uh, the cool down pit you can kind of simulate sort of decelerating so what you do is you specify a pace at the start of the period and then the pace at the end and it linearly kind of 
reduces the pace every every steps um, during the period. So about another just under 100 meters to go, and then we'll be into the cool down. So which is only 800 meters. So about another I guess about another three or four minutes of running in this uh, Monday Run Club. Um, Nice to have two people properly running, plus me sort of uh, waffling on. Um, here we go. So what place did I set the call down for? Um, okay, so we carry on at 12, and then I think what will happen is that we'll slowly ease off the gas a bit. So I think every... We will start to wind down the pace now for the call downs, as I say on the screen. So I can't remember how often it actually changes. It'll be interesting to check. So... Is it every 100 metres or is it every 200 metres? If it's every 100, it will change uh, now. Is it changing now? Mm, no, maybe it's every 200 metres then. We'll see if it changes that down at 600 metres to go. As I say, it'd be good uh, in a few weeks' time as we start to get into treadmill season again. Certainly, probably, hopefully, build swift run through September, and by October, I think we'll be back up to some decent numbers again. Um, and you'll feel like it is more part of a community on swift running. There's quite a lot of activity still going on, on the Facebook groups and people trying stuff out. I was talking about Dave Campbell earlier trying out some different things. Oh, there we go. It must be every two hundred meters because we've now gone into eleven point eight. So. Uh, um, yeah, what the cool down is that um, it's kind of borrowed from the cycle functionality that um, they kind of slowly wind it down. Um, so you, you kind of start off the cool down at a reasonable p um, pace and then you just very gradually ease off and try to clear a bit of lactate, clear your head, um, feel like you've finished the session without sort of absolutely knackering yourself. We used to do these Monday run clubs uh, just in normal free runs and uh, we get to have then real leaders telling people what to do, uh, which is good fun, but you have to sort of then commit to standing there and or running there and trying to type as you run and um, quite challenging. Let's see if we go down again at 400 metres to go. Here we go, 12.6. So I'm using the TSS app. Um, that little thing there to do that. So only another 400 meters to go. So it's nice that we had AZ, uh, I think it's from France, I assume, and, jo and Georgie from Germany, uh, and me uh, pretending to run, not really running. So I'm now at 57 heart rate, 56 heart rate. So um, that's not bad. If I wasn't talking, maybe a bit under, under 50. I've had my lowest ever heart rate was, I think I, I 35 has put my resting heart rate down to. Sometimes you get a heart rate, so you think, oh, is that really believable when you get a really low one? But uh, um, I don't pay too much attention to resting heart rate because I think, oh, it's always, it's always not too bad. Um, maximum heart rate I found more interesting now because my maximum heart rate as I get older, I'm now 51, starts to uh, starts to harder to get it up. I'm, I got to 163 the other day. That's the high, highest I've had it all year at the end of one Swift Academy um, workouts. Uh, I think I got to 160 today. I did number work, number one workout. I've got another stream where I did that one. Very hard workout. So a lot harder than um, standing here talking with the TSS app. So we're now on to 11.4. We've got almost done. Uh, and we'll very quickly be coming to an end of this one. So that last arch will be the end of the run officially. And then we should get then transported back into the normal world. Um, so nice to have three people running alongside as we cross the line. Where's AZ? Bring it. Bring He's it. just ahead. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> people, Bring most of the cyclists. It. Isn't. So the three of us will virtually go through the line together, which is great to see. Just second, I'm saying I'm second out of six. Thanks for joining. Hope to see you next week. Um, yeah, I'll be on holiday next week, so and the week after. So maybe when I get back from holiday, I'll be able to run again. Here we go, three of us across the line together. That's marvellous, all at the same time, looks like. Here's my report. And that's 17.1 is where I, Lionel Saunders uh, overtook me. So I, I, I zoomed up the pace to overtake him, give him the front of his life. Uh, so if we go into, let's go back to the main screen. 
and uh, you can see the um, my heart rate is not because I'm not actually running. Uh, general just gives the um, who we ran with timeline. Um, yeah, apart from that little game I did with Lionel Saunders, you can see there the little strides that we did. Uh, otherwise, pretty steady pace, warm up pace there, gradually rising, a couple of Ks, um, gradually rising, a couple of strides, and knees down for a warm down. So, so that's Monday Run Club done. Um, I only ever go through, 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 the, through the finish banner as well on uh, the UCI World Championships in Innsbruck, I think, I think which are happening next month. So, I was imagine, well, I think the end of September, aren't they? They're happening. So, there we go, as we go through the main um, finish line on uh, the Innsbruck course. Um, so I think I call it a day now. I've run 9K virtually. I've probably got a few cheating XP points on on running that I perhaps shouldn't have done. I've also got my level, tw I got my, finally achieved my level 25 on cycling. So I'm not sure how many people have got the maximum level 25 on running and the max on the maximum level 25 on cycling and the maximum I think is running is 21. I think I know one guy that may have got it. Um, so I've got 25 on biking now, but I'm only on 16 on running. So I've got some effort to do on the running to catch up. Um, but uh, hopefully by Christmas I'll be up to level 21. I think Stephen's probably about, Stephen Cousins about level 20. Um, but he runs a bit more than I do. So let's um, let's stop our run. I'll see what. Oh, there we go. There's a cap. Is that a cap I've got? Got a new cap. Maybe I'll have a cap. Do we like caps? Headbands. Should I put a headband on for next time? Headband always seems a bit daft, but uh, I'll pretend I'll have a headband for next time. Right, let's end the run and I'll discard it. Um, because I wasn't really running, but um, 13th of August is when I first we first ran this one. I put that in the description. Also, now the 27th, so um, maybe I'll come up with something slightly different for next week. But anyway. Thanks for, just discard that. Um, we should exit the game. And that should then drop off my screen because I've got OBS to pick up the actual Swift app executable. Um, so will that disappear? Yeah, there we go. So I'm running Swift on the PC. That's now stopped. Um, no, no, it's Daisy still here. Daisy! 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 We'll finish off by Daisy and me saying goodbye uh, until the next one. Here's Daisy the cat. Uh, here's Daisy my cat. She's got that GPS, GPS on, so um, a cat tracker. But <laughs> the battery never lasts very long. She's also got a tile on, so uh, maybe I'll get her on Swift one day. But um, we'll have to put some biscuits out. I think I'm not sure we'll get there. But anyway, see you on the next one. Bye.